it's better to be a free man than to be a, a man under bondage under the swords of Esau, man. That's right. Having you in captivity because of that money. And the majority of our people don't want to lose that money, so they're going to stay right there with Esau and comfort. I got, I got a right? quick But this place wasn't built for comfort. What have you people learned, man? America was not built for comfort. Our people were brought over here to build up this place and to be slaves over here. And just because we don't got chains and shackles on our feet, they now introduce what? The birth certificate, the social security card, and all those other various tactics that they use to keep our people blinded, man. Such as movies like Wakanda, Con whatever that shit is. Wakanda. Such as, you know, telling you that you're a black man, but clearly your skin is a brown. These are all the things that keep your mind trapped and oppressed from being free from the truth of the matter, man. Right. That the Lord set up to his, to his servants and the prophets in these last days. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Right. What more, what more can you ask for, man? We're not, we're not governed by what Esau does in the sense of financial gain, man. We don't have shit. We ain't got a window to throw it out of our pocket. Right. We don't have shit. Right. You know, but all you people who are deciding that, you know, you're going to try to make a name for yourself, you want to get down and dirty and build this and do that and do that, and all these business Appreciate ventures and endeavors, it's all going to come to naught, man. Go ahead, Elder. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth rust. and rust does not, I'm sorry, does corrupt. Right, and that's exactly what you celebrities are doing. You're laying up treasures here on earth, man. That can easily be stolen. All it takes is you to make one wrong statement and you out of here, man. One wrong move and you're out of here. But here you have our people, so-called Negro, Guthrie, Puerto Ricans, have been raped, robbed, murdered, and scarred for years, man. For years. Ain't nobody giving a goddamn about us and what people say about us. Even to this very present day, man. We got niggas being gunned down by the cops on a daily basis. Ain't nobody outraged about, oh, we fire these guys. Oh, these guys get to get some type of community because of their position that they're holding. Which is bullshit. And once again, the Lord's on his way to straighten this whole thing up. America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Go ahead. It says, um, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. All right, when you come into the truth, man, you, you have been set free, man. Your, your spirit is free, your mind is free, because you know that you're depending on our Lord and Savior, how about you, how shot, and not depending on the forces that be that rule this world, man. Because the forces that rule this world are going to kill you. And they're going to make damn sure they kill you, because they know who you are. You ain't got to be on the highways and byways prophesying the word of the Lord. They know you're an Israelite, man. And they're coming for you. They're coming to get you. The scripture says they shall be like madmen, sparing none. That means you, even though you're outside of this truth. But the good thing about what we got going on here through the Spirit of the Lord, we have a protector. We have a, a shield and a buckler that's going to Lord willing watch over us in these upcoming trials and tribulations. But for you people, on that side of things, you ain't got a damn thing. To, you ain't got no hope in the world, man. Go ahead. It says, but lay, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, mm -hmm. and where thieves do not break through and steal. Mm -hmm. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right. And the scripture speaks about the man taking part of this treasure, both things new and old. This is our treasure right here. The spirit of Lord, the comfort. That's our treasure. This is what we hold fast to. This is what we believe in. This thing will never leave you or depart you, even in the worst times of your life. Because you can meditate back on the scriptures you read, and it'll spoil it will spoil your spirit. But let you be in the world and decide to, you know, put your trust in the riches that you have, and you go, and the bank goes belly up. Then what? And if you don't get to the bank in time, that's your ass. You're gonna be sitting around talking about, yeah, I'm waiting for the bank to get back to me so I can find out where my money is. You, you ain't got no goddamn money, man. America don't have any money. What don't you people understand? This place has no money to offer anybody. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Matthew 16, verse 24. Then, then said Yahawashad unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And a lot of these, and a lot of these sportsmen, these, these athletes and so on and forth, so forth, they're now turning themselves over, finding out who they are, finding out the true nationality, finding out there's a different, there's a, there's a power 
that cannot be beaten. That's right. And this is why they're foregoing with all this bullshit. They're taking all the rhetoric, you know, oh, this guy's crazy. He's, you know, a million dollar contract. He's throwing it all away. It's, not, it, it, it's, it's all vain anyway, man. It's all vain. Go ahead. Verse 25. For whosoever will save his life. Verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Right. That's exactly what's going to be taking place, man. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake, go ahead, go ahead, bro. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Right. I had a hundred abortions. Y'all niggas. In what? We've given up. We've given up what we had in this world. We've come down to the. We come down to the point where we understand that this world has nothing to offer us. So we're gonna wait on the treasures of the Lord, man. That's what we wait for. The treasures of the Lord. Go and by coming out here fighting that good fight of faith. Right. Leave it in the hands of the Lord. Right. We, ain't, we ain't leaving a damn thing for playing. Esau, man. No, We're not leaving playing. anything for Esau to get a hold of and put in trust in Esau's realm, really man. Recording? Because that time is coming. Recording? That time is coming where you're going to find out real recording? soon how the Lord how the Lord is going to now make do oh, uh, against the enemies, man. Go ahead. Can uh, I get verse 26. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? All these men who are coming up against these athletes who are now, you know, denouncing this, this sporting realm or, or spreading Barry? arena. That's my question. These men who are coming up against them, they've sold their soul. Where is Jesus They've sold buried? their soul and they've sold their soul Where to the devil. Where is he buried? You think they he's sold buried their soul in, like, to the Jerusalem devil. Or somewhere? All right? Where is Jesus so therefore, buried? Therefore, they've received their constellation, as the scripture Yo, said. They have received Jesus their buried, constellation. Yo. They've trusted in the riches of Babylon. Yo, man, yo, back up, yo, back up. I'm trying to you ask you. Back up. You see, right, we're God, talking, to but you're interrupting. Where was Jesus the scriptures say, do things decently in order. If you was in order, we would answer that question. I'm just asking, where was Jesus? Continue buried? on, brother. Continue That's on. My question. Oh, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? When a, when a man is in, uh, is, is in dire straits and somebody comes home with that purse, he's dancing or take it. Because that's what our people are used to accepting. Our people has had nothing throughout their whole life. And the opportunity that they get to make music, to be a rapper, to be a, a musician, or, or a, a, a movie star, an actor, or whatever, they jumping on that full screen, man. Because they know there's going to be a paycheck with that. They know there's going to be, you know, uh, uh, fame, fortune coming with that. But once again, what's the man going to give? A man's going to give his life these witches that, that are corrupt in this world, man. I got some good. This is uh, Luke 16 and 19. Right here, man. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and feared sumptuously every day. Right. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus mm -hmm. which was laid at his, at his gate mm -hmm. full of sores yep. and desiring to be fed with the crumbs mm -hmm. which fell from the rich man's table. Yep. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his swords, yep. and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Yep. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar right. off and Lazarus in his bosom. Right, and that rich man represents Esau the devil, man. Right. All right, that's who that represents. And, and we being, and we being in this realm that. And we, being, <laughs> and we being in this condition that we are, we're represented as Lazarus, man. And the, and the time is coming where the Lord is now going to bring us out of that fire, bring us out of that fold, and raise us up as he's been doing for the past few, you know, I'll say 15 years, where the bulk of the Israelites have been woken up, man. The bulk of the Israelites that have been woken up in the past 15 years or so. But it's all through the spirit of the Lord. That's right. All right? But our enemy is the oppressor. He saw the devil. He's been he's been putting it on our asses for years, man. And nobody says a goddamn thing. Let a Jake say something about the, the so-called small the small hats or whatever you want to call them. Let Jake say, well, look what happens. Look what happens, man. You lose your livelihood. You lose your life. You lose your career. All that. 
but these devils can go around continually make mockery of the Lord's chosen people, man. So that time has come where the Lord's gonna do away with all this madness. Even madness like we got back here. When that, see, this, we were talking about this a little earlier too. You women out here, man, you, you, you get to the point where you're going to find out real soon how bad it's gonna be out here. And you're not gonna, and I can guarantee you, you're not gonna venture off into the streets in that day. Because it's gonna be a lawless society over here. When the society breaks down, there's gonna be no law enforcement to be enforcing things. What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna to turn to? And that's coming right up on the heels, man. That's right on the heels of what's going on. That's right. All right. You want to say something? That's right. Just like you, um, you mentioned, you know, uh, our people is always trying to uh, get scratched from the enemy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you grow up in the hood, the first thing they want to do is be boxers or be some type of form um, that's cooning and buffooning to, uh, to these elites. You know, and they want to get up there, you know, because they're, they're like that bagger, the prophecy of that bagger, you know, we get this world going to bag it. Begging our, our oppressor, man. You know, and, 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 and the Kanye's and all that. You know, they will do that, and, uh, anything just to get that dollar, man, just to get that bag. You know, and now the Lord, the Jewish people, right? Judas, Judas, Judas. I guess now it's just um, a coming board from Koab, Yasha Allah 444. He says, um, John 15 and 19. If you are of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right, and the Lord said if the world hates him, the world's gonna hate us as well. So we're out here doing the work of the Alabash and Remember, I mean, you, you, if you Google Hebrew Israelites, it's gonna come up black Hebrew Israelites. We're very, very many colors of, of shade of brown, all right? You got brothers in here, who look, some brothers look like pure Edomites, man. But once again, that black connotation, that black connotation is getting you to train your mind to bad. These guys are no good. These guys are terrible. That's what all that's all that stems from, man. But we understand and we were foretold that the world is gonna hate us for the works that we've been doing. Which is a good work, mind you. Alright? How can you hate a man who tells you the truth? The Apostle Paul said in the book of Galatians, the fourth chapter. That's right. That's right. Give me that. Point to play, brother. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. And my therefore become your enemy. Because I tell you the truth. Once again, like we said a little while ago, America and Americans hate the truth, man. They hate the truth. They love to live and, and, and build their life off of lies and deceit. How America was built, how America was founded, off lies and deceit. That's right. And you think it stopped at some point in time? No. It just got a more it just got more and more deeper and more and more secu uh, secretive because now they don't want you to know their deeper sought dark uh, stories, man. For example, when you had the transatlantic slave trade, now Esau wants to take slavery all out slavery out of the books, man. Why? It's something you people did. Right, I think you're saying anti-Semitic and not being Right. 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 If, they, if they have that, as their, as their historical uh, evidence that, they, that they're just as uh, wicked or, or mean or evil, then they can't claim anti-Semitic or you say something about what they, what they do. That's right. We're lively stones out here, man. We are lively stones telling you the truth of the matter, okay? And this is something, once again, nobody wants to hear the truth, man. Everybody wants to be classified. Everybody wants to be told something nice and easy, something soothing to the edge. And, 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 and you ever see that movie with Jack Nicholson? Uh, a few good men? He said, you can't handle the truth. That's, and this is the truth. We come out and tell you the so-called white man's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Nobody wants to, nobody can handle it. We're telling you that the so-called black men, the so-called Puerto Rican men, so-called Native American men are the Lord's chosen people. Nobody can't handle They can't handle that. Well, what do you mean? You're special? God damn right was special. That's right. He was, he was, uh, Jack Nicholson's character was painted as the bad guy. Villain. Of the villain. That's right. Really, he had, he had, uh, he had, uh, loyalty to his, to his country. Mm -hmm. Really, he was a good guy. Same thing with, uh, uh Killmonger in the, 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 the uh, Black Men play. That's right. Yeah. He was painted as the villain, but really, he was the one that was telling the, telling the truth. Yep. We gotta go out there and defend our, uh, that's what this whole thing is about. Hold on, this brother has something real quick. Good. Yes, good. Yes, brother, speak on it, brother. Uh, this is Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 12. Can you see how was America established? Right, right. Uh, Woe unto him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. That's right. Woe unto him, destruction unto him. 
death and destruction unto him that buildeth the town off blood. When you come here to Boston, right? They call what's it called? The, the, the freedom, uh, freedom trail. trail. Freedom trail. Supposedly, yeah. previously the freedom trail was a great thinking line trail. representing the blood. Of, of the Lunch. North American Indians, how uh, they scared them and, and scalped them and did all types of atrocities to them. You see? But nobody says anything about that. Because, because it, was, it, was, it was Edomite movements that helped forward the progress of America. So therefore, all these things that were done to our people were okay. Because it, it pushed them into the 21st century to where now there's law and order to where they believed that it was necessary for them to do the things to these people because it was only going to further progress in, in society. Which is all, yeah, manifest destiny. Yeah, watch so your back, watch your back. Watch your back, watch your back. Coming through, coming through. Now I think this might be good. Nice turn. You see, there's a song, there's a song. I can't, I, I can't remember the name of the dude who sings the song, but he has the lyrics saying, you know, we knew we were about to manifest destiny and we knew we were going to accomplish it. something to that effect, man. So they, they just knew my story, man. They truly know, huh? No, no, no. It's a new white group. They know. They truly know, man. That's right. All right, where we at? I've got something more here, too. Yeah. Uh, name them three and five. I said, Behold, the one who filled the spirit with no Go up, one. Go, 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 go. Name them chapter three and, uh, and one. Go to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. America is that bloody city, man. There's been a lot of bloodshed in this land by the people who rule this land. As the scriptures say, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked, and the wicked has done abominable things to the nation of Israel, man. There's all types of blood in this land. The Lord said the blood of the saints are going to cry out unto him. Go ahead. It says, it is full of lies and robbery. Once again, we've been going over this for the past who knows how long. It is full of lies and robbery. America was built off of lies. How can the so-called white man be proud of the history that he's done, knowing that there was lives lost That's right. in the process of him trying to establish, you know, liberty and justice for all? All right, go ahead. It says, uh, the prey departed not. Right, and they still they ain't going nowhere. Go ahead. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheel and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots, the horseman lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain, and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their cor corpses. They stumble upon their corpses, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the welfare and harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts. Yep. America Babylon the Great, okay, is built off of witchcraft. Look at that, look at the sign Hollywood. It goes right back to witchcraft, man. This was built off of a witchcraft. Holiday, go ahead. That selleth nations through her whoredom mm -hmm. and families through her witchcraft. Yep. Yep. Behold, I am against thee. What are, what are the nations fit this description, man? What are the people fit this description as what's been going on? America has done this all throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And they haven't stopped, and they don't continue to stop. They're going to continue on with this, this ideology of we're the greatest, we own the airspace, we own the sea, we own the land, we own everything. Because the Lord said, the Lord gave it to me. The Lord gave it to me. So they do have that right to proclaim the airspace. There's a no-fly zone. You can't fly your plane here because we say so. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't run your, your, your cruise ships or airplanes over, you know, what they call Antarctica for certain reasons. They, they don't want to tell people. But one of the first things these presidents do is go down there to Roswell, and they go down there to they go up to Alaska to see what the hell's going on over there. There's some shit going on over there. These devils they telling you about, man. Go ahead. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord of hosts. The Lord is against you. Go ahead. And I will discover thy scourge upon thy face, mm -hmm. and I will show the nations thy nakedness, right. and the kingdoms thy shame. Make bare the leg. Make bare the leg. Undo the thigh. America's being exposed on every level you can imagine, man. Totally, total exposure going on right here. And with that exposure, people are now waking up. The nation of Israel, the Israelites are waking up all over the world, man. And as these, 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 you know, high-profile individuals even come out more and more, they're going to start seeing a lot of people googling, inquiring, 
Just go online and you can probably determine, you can probably look up how many times the term Hebrew was looked up or what the Lord's true name is. People want to find out, man. His word is out. There's a dude named Rod Stewart. Our brother's too young to probably know. Huh? Yeah, that voice. Right here. Uh, Rod Stewart. Jermaine Stewart, I'm sorry. Yeah. Jermaine Stewart. Jermaine Stewart. Jermaine Stewart. I don't know about that. He had, he, had a, he had a song called The Word Is Out. All right? So the word has been out, man. There's, and there's no bringing it back. There's nothing he saw can do to, to stop this word from being pushed out. Even if he's just the internet now, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Now we're going we gonna, we gonna through the motions right now, so to say, by coming on the highways and flowers and putting the videos up. It's too late. You can't. You want to switch the switch? Cut it off. That's right. Cut it off. You know. But knowing that it's the Lord's program, the Lord will cut it off when He wants to cut it off. That's right. Now, where we at? I got something real Go quick. Uh, Psalms 94, verse 16. Yep. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Right. Or who will rise up? Okay. Stones. Hey, look at this, man. That horse is tired. You about to throw that chick right off that bad boy. Get off there, she end up like Christopher Reed. <laughs> man, they've been the same since. Superman and Super Handicap. I got it. Uh... All right, let's roll. Ephesians 5 and uh, 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Hey, yo, you know what, too? Horses, they can sense certain spirits, too, man. Horses what? have that, that, that sense. They can, serve, they can, they can sense certain spirits. They can hear on it. Yep. Very yep. Lord is making his presence known through every aspect of life, man. Every aspect of life we can trust. The Lord is putting his spirit on it. This is all the Lord's program. We are thankful for the one of y'all watching outside. 
given us the ability to be a part of his ministry in these in last days, man. This is a beautiful thing that's going on. And to see it unfolding, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we was out here doing the work. 13 years ago, we was out here doing the work. And we knew that the word of the Lord is, is true. There's no doubt about that. But to now to start to, to actually see it, to actually start to see it, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. The angel, the angel pulled that demon back. Go ahead, bro. This is John 3 Hold on, hold on. Did you finish? No, I haven't. Go ahead. Verse 16, it says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Perfect. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We can't begin to tell you people and stress to you people how bad it's about to get out here, man. It's about to get real bad out here. And, and, and if you think we're fooling around, just give it some time and you're going to see it's not going to be much time, man. You know, they're talking about in December, they're talking about June, all kinds of shit. With the financial and the digital and all this transitioning and swapping over. Who knows what that's going to bring, man? Also, Elder. Because once these banks start shutting down, we convert them because they're saying all banks that are being compliant with this new, with this new method by 2023 something. Listen, man, we right there. We right there. We may not be able to go to the bank with our debit card and withdraw money. They may require it now, you got to be chipped up. It's here. And we're going to say it because you know what? It's here, man. Go ahead. Uh, verse 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Understanding what the word of the Lord, the will of the Lord is, man. Go ahead. And I wanted to say this. What they say is 12 days now, 12 more days before the run out of the... Um, because these yeah. truckers are going they going to start well, bringing what? food yeah. they going to already start talking yeah. 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 He, he and there's there. some states that's already have, ran out you know how they had those large gas stations mm -hmm. down south where mm -hmm. the trucks pull up yep. he was standing there all of them have these cones he said yeah get ready this is coming across the whole that's right united states that's right but people ain't ready people ain't ready they ain't ready and there's going to be no excuse to say I didn't know, I didn't hear the word of the Lord, no one told me because it's out there, man. Even so much so, the Lord put it on the average everyday people that you listen to. Kanye West, uh, uh, Kyrie Irving, what's that other Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar Kodak Black. Kodak Black. Kodak Black. They, 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 listen, man, the Lord is put, he's leaving no stone unturned for you. So there's no excuse. If you listen, if you listen to any of these people, which the majority of people do, because that's just what happens in, in, in the Israelite community, man. Israelites on the whole, they love rap and TV shows. They love all that shit, man. So there's no excuse to say, I didn't know. Too late. Too late. If you didn't hear us, you should have heard it from one of your local rap artists, or one of your local TV stars, okay? That's where you should have heard it from. Even so much so, it was even on CNN when, 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 when uh, the Boxman was out there in DC, okay? That was a big yeah, to do yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all over the news, the major news, man. And it was concerning what? Hebrew Israelites. So now, what's your excuse, man? There's, there's, there's no excuse. Go ahead. If I may add two, you know, even in the social media, about t and YouTube, you got, you got a lot of people now, people down south, and talk about maybe now the time to start supplying on food. On food. Because you're not going to see too many of them truck delivering food to the supermarket. You know, more and more of them start speaking about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if I may add, you had that guy a couple of months back. He was um, filling up his truck, the refrigerated truck. Mm -hmm. and it cost him 1800 for gas. And he gave that warning saying, like, how do you think that's going to affect? Because a lot of this stuff we get is exported from the West. Right. And then the truck is bringing it over to the East. And that was months yeah. ago you gave that warning. Listen, man, this whole thing is about the Columbia, man. It's about the Columbia. It's gonna implode on itself, and it's not gonna be anything you can fucking do. If you don't conform to the, the, the new world order, if you don't conform to that, you're gonna be on the outside. And this is why we put our trust in hope in Jehovah Bosh and Yahweh Because Lord willing, he's gonna keep the spirit on us that we maintain that integrity for the word of the Lord, man. Because don't, don't, don't get it twisted. The scriptures talk about me and the brothers talking a little while ago. When the Lord said when, 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 that he was gonna deny him, what did he say? I will never deny thee, Lord. I will never. And he's speaking he speak, he straight to the Lord and Savior. He speak, I will never deny thee. He said, when the Father calls, he's going to deny me Christ, man. So therefore, how much more are we on this side? When we're not, we're not even in the presence of the Lord. 
So that's why you gotta pray consistently for courage and spirit and endurance, man. That the Lord keep that upon you, that you may be able to uh, withstand the wiles of the devil, man. That's right, that's right. It's, praying is, 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 a, is a must. Praying is a must. There's no ifs and buts about it. The scriptures say in Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. All right? Because the times that we're coming in, people think, people think it's funny. People, oh, man, what else is that not going to happen? Well, surprise, nigga. Surprise, and it jumps out like, like, a, like a thief in the night. You got something, brother? Yeah, I got something. Hold on one second. Who's up? Okay, let this brother come on this down. This is all one down. This is from the Business Insider. It's the article that says the U.S. diesel price. Right, we look, we look into any and everything, man. It's good to speak about that. Have an unction to know all things, man. Whether it be what, what the goddamn toy stores are selling, how, they, how, they, how their finance is going, whether it be how the fucking section is going. You gotta know a little bit of everything because it all works in tandem, man. Look at the GDP. See, it all works together, man. Go ahead. Guys, this, um, the U.S. diesel crunch means it's time to stock up on food. Yep. Robert uh, Kiyosaki says, Here's what the rich dad, poor dad, Arthur, in five Kiyosaki, it says, here's what the rich dad, poor dad, Arthur, and five experts are warning as fuel runs short. It says, a shortage of diesel in the U.S. has set an alarm bell, set alarm bells ringing for many experts who are flagging higher prices for goods and risk, uh, risk to fuel supply, uh, food supplies as truckers pay more for fuel. Inventories of diesel have sunk far below emergency levels. And EIA data shows U.S. had 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 only 25 days supply of diesel mm. left in its reserve as of three weeks ago. Mm. A low now, a low not seen since 2008. Jump down and says diesel is used in freight transportation and tight supply could mean less food and other goods getting onto supermarket shelves. Right. Right. Mm. It's gonna be less food. There's no doubt about it. Only map. 24 too. There's gonna be less food. There's no doubt about this guy. Yeah, you know, he saw once again, he saw don't want to really put the truth out there because he don't want to mass panic, man. He don't want to mass panic. So he saw is gonna give you a watered down version of what's going on, but still give you a little hope that everything's gonna be alright. You see? But that's what the devil does. He'll deceive you and tell you shit that eh, is not gonna be really concerning to you. People are looking at this like, oh, we don't drive diesel cars, so why do we care? Why do we care? So therefore, they're gonna continue on. Like a real quick story, right? So, just just to, to give you the mindset of our people, right? So years ago, I was dating this chick, right? And she had gotten to a jam with her mother. So I'm at the crib, she come down, knock on my door, she got her two kids in the toe with her. You know, she come out, what's going on? Your mother got into it, well, come on in. I had a little beverage. So she come on in, two little kids with her. So, I told my landlord, mm, they're gonna, they gonna look for a new place. Can they stay a couple weeks? I'll pay a little extra for the rent to offset, you know? So that'd be that, right? So the two kids were taking two fucking showers, one in the morning and one in the evening, damn near an hour long. So I said to her, listen, I pulled up, I said, listen, yo, tell the kids, I don't mind them taking two showers, but you know, five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night, you know, there's, there's, there's four of us in here now. So she looked at me, what do you care? <laughs> you know, I went above and beyond to my little, I, I got dish out the money. So she went toward her girlfriend. She came back and told me her girlfriend said, well, what does he care? He's not paying for water anyway. Everything was included. What does he care? He's not paying for water anyway. I'm saying to myself, that this is the, the mentality of this, this, this world and this people, man. Somebody's paying the goddamn water bill. It may not be me paying the, the overall bill for the, for the unit, but I'm paying my portion for the rent that I have. She talking about, and then she told the kids, oh, don't, you can't take showers no more. He don't want you to take a shower. I'm saying to myself, this is crazy. But that's the mentality of the people of this world, man. They don't, they don't if it doesn't affect them or if it affects them, it, you know, they don't even give a shit. But going back to this diesel thing, these people are concerned, Americans are concerned because they don't have a diesel house, they don't have a diesel car. All these things that require diesel, they don't concern about it. But they're not thinking about the food aspect of it. The majority of these trucks that go to and from are run by diesel food, man. So is it going to affect you? You damn right it is. It's going to affect you in a major way. Because when you watch that movie Contagion, right? 
Matt Damon, when his daughter goes into the store, and when they turn down the aisle, there was nothing but empty shelves. Yep. Empty shelves. Mother was just panicking. It's gonna go right back to that. Esau's been telling you all his moves and his trickery in these movies. But the majority of people look at these movies as just pure entertainment. You see? Go ahead. I mean, I know that these trophies are also the blood of America because there's not only food, but, you know, supplies for building, you know, all that, all that, all that drop, all the supplies for building houses and everything that's that all moved to construction. Yeah, so if the houses ain't been built, you know what I'm saying? Now you're gonna have a a, a, a rise in, in what in, 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 in demand for houses. There's not enough houses. That affects the economy, and it's just a whole trickle. It's there's a trickle down effect. It's not just food. It's it's, it's a whole trickle down effect. It's everything. Uh, uh, your, your, even down to your dish detergent. You know, you're the turkey. Yeah. Everything is, yeah. is moving yeah. trucks, man. Yeah. 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 Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Put, put, put a look at the list. Or second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-two. Right. And suddenly, shall the stone places appear on stone. Right. America is going to be that on stone place, man. Because right now, everything's still imported, if you will. Everything's still operable. Everything's still on a path of, you know, copacetic, if you will. The full score of this show will suddenly be found empty. Why are they going to be found empty? Because these trucks are going to start running, man. That's why they're going to be empty. For no other reason but these truckers aren't going to be able to get the product to the goddamn storehouses, man. And on top of that, the, the shit that they import from uh, overseas, you know, you got uh, 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 avocados, you know, certain type of plantain, plantain bananas, and all types of shit that are, that, are, that are processed overseas, man. So you can kiss that shit and buy it. And that's why she's going to be real scared. And they show you that in that movie, The Book of Eli. How bartering was a major thing back then. The scarcity of certain items. He had chapstick. No, oh, yeah, chapstick. I can use that. But, but we had cattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Denzel, Denzel had cattle. He had wipes. Like the KFC wipes. KFC wipes. Yeah. He's like, yeah, 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 I can use that. Take a bath. But the scarcity of these products and these items, if you have them when that time comes, you're going to be, you're going to be the hot ticket, man. <laughs> But if you ask out, you ain't gonna get a goddamn thing, man. That's gonna resort to robbing and stealing. You got something, brother? Yep, yep. Uh, Luke 21, 34 through all 36. And take heed to that's yourselves. Yes. That's the spirit. Good, <laughs> hey, good, hey, good. Hey. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with certainty yep. and drunkenness and cares of this life, yep. and so that that day come upon you unaware. Right. As we say, as we say, I think for the day to come upon you as unaware or as Tonight, right? But don't, don't listen, man. That was the red earlier. They know that the treasure in heaven, they're marking rough up the rough. This is that heaven where you people are trying to stock up. You got Jake's doing the stock market only because they're falling out with Esau. They're showing the scene what Esau is doing. They want to be a part of Esau. And then these Jake's, you have a little money. They look at the Jake's with no money, like you ain't shit, man. You know what I mean? As a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. Watch ye therefore and pray always right. that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things right. that shall come to pass right. and to stand before the Son of Man. Chapter 8. Hold, hold on, bro. Hold that piece of root quick. Yeah, I did. Yeah, continue on that. Uh, oh, 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 continue on, on where I left off. It says, in higher delivery costs feed into higher prices for consumers. That could worsen already high inflation. Shipping isn't the only thing threatened by a diesel uh, shortfall. Heavy, heavy users like the construction and farming industry are at risk too. But not all observers believe Americans are definitely headed for a diesel crunch. Some are saying it's just business as usual. You see that? And that's that mentality. Because America always finds a way to bounce itself back. That's why these people aren't really concerned about what's going on in the, in the, in the industries of marketing, the industries of fueling. They're not concerned about that. Because 
America always finds a way to mount itself back. But little do they know that the Lord said this place is going to travel to a speedy end. It's, it's coming to an end. America's, America's on its decline. It's on its way down. So it's going to collapse. The economy's going to collapse. There's going to be no food to be stored. There's going to be no food to be delivered. So if you were smart, you take you and your family and start preparing yourself. And listen, you heard it here first. Start preparing yourself. All right? This is no joke. Because the government's not going to tell you like any other government in the world, they'll tell their people the truth. America is a lie and a They're not going to tell you that there's going to be a food shortage. They're not telling you that. They're not telling you that the diesel fuel is about to run out and the truckers can't bring food to your home. So prepare yourself and, and stock up a lot of food for your little one, my man. That's, that's words of the wise. Stock up a lot of food for your little one. It'll, it'll benefit you in the long run. All right, you heard it here first. That's spirit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jeremiah 51, verse, uh, Go ahead. verse 9, verse 7, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly falling in short. Right, Babylon is suddenly falling in. What are you at, 51? <coughs> um, yeah, just go, just go up to 6. Go to 6. Jeremiah 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. That's right. And the river of men who saw, be out of the midst of Babylon. Prepare yourself. Thank you, please. Because wait. there are bad times coming here to America, man. Right. There are bad times coming here. Right. And we of the hopeful elect, we hope and pray that the Lord watches over us while these bad times are coming upon the earth. Right. We're not exempt. Even though we're out here doing the work, we're doing the will of the Lord, that how was shy would do a judgment, did he not? So the servant is not greater than his master. So if how was shy would do hell. You don't think we, we damn sure going to go through some hell, man. So prepare yourself. Get yourself mentally ready, man. Go ahead. So Jeremiah 2, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and the river of many souls. Mm -hmm. Be not put up in her iniquity. Right. Go ahead. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance. The Lord is coming back to pay some vengeance upon Babylon the Great primarily and all the rest of these heathenistic nations that has something to do with the captivity of Israel, man. Go ahead. He will wonder her. He will wonder her. Wonder her. her. A yep. Babylon has been a little cup to the Lord's game. Once again, look at the buildings, man. Look at the structures that you see. How marvelous they are. Go to Chicago, look at these big buildings they erected. Go anywhere in the world and see these, these lavish vacation spots yeah. where you can see the crystal blue water. Babylon has been a golden cup, man. This place has been a golden cup. Go ahead. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's game. That made all the earth drunken. Right. Now the whole earth is taking after the fundamental values of Babylon's great, man. All these countries look, look up to Babylon and take on their customs. And these customs are grievous, man. Very grievous. Just look what's going on with men wanting to be women. Women turning into men. That's just going right through the whole world, man. That's grievous. Vladimir Putin said he ain't having that shit. He ain't having that shit. They ain't teaching their kids, their, their grade school kids, they ain't teaching that in their curriculum. They ain't pushing that shit on the news. You know? You gotta understand, man. Over, over, back, in, over back in the East, man, they have some type of values and morals over there. Even though they're not Israelites, and even though this word wasn't meant to them, they took the word and they read the word, and they understood that the word is true, and there's certain things that you should not do according to the word. That's why Vladimir Putin says what he said. That's why uh, uh, um, Ahmadinejad did what he did. That's why uh, uh, Omar Gaddafi would do what they were doing. Because they understood that some shit that's spoken of in the scriptures is true according to how they live their life. Some things they look at the Bible. But all in all, man, it's going down. Go ahead. The nation have drunk of the wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right, right. But uh, it says, uh, Babylon is spread according to the shores. How for a one for a thing, if so be she may be healed. Right, now, you people will understand that, like, it's just not a good enough. Take bond for a pain, and you will heal Babylon, but she will not be healed. Right? So you can translate that for There's no hope for a girl. No hope for this place. No matter what, because a lot of our people, all they do is they sit back and rely on Esau, man. They sit back and wait for Esau to do something. Sitting back and saying, oh, well, because you know you have no control. 
So you have to wait for the so-called white man to do what going to do. So then the Lord's telling them, they want to heal this place, but they can't. They can't heal it. It's far too gone, man. It's far too gone. America has stage four cancer. Put it that way. America has stage four cancer. And, and, and there's no coming back from stage four cancer, man. So that's what's happening right now. And the cancer of the earth is about to be rooted out by means of by means of fire. Radiation. No one fire and radiation. Right? So this place is the cancer that has to be rooted out. Go ahead, read on. We would have healed Babylon, but she but she's not here for her let us go that we want to lose our country for a judgment which is to happen. Right, let everyone go back to their own country. Right? Vladimir Putin, I'll make, I'll make mention again. Vladimir Putin put on all points bulletin to his people that were abroad. Come back home to your country where you know you're going to be protected. Where you know you're going to be safe. You yeah? think Joe Biden going to do some shit like that? Joe Biden, the administration, is going to tell you to go vacation. It's America. It's normal. Get out there. Don't be afraid. We're the greatest country in the world. Because over there in Russia, they're during the time of the Soviet Union, they built their uh, subways to be basically bomb-proof. Mm -hmm. So, so in other words, we're standing here, and we used to get an alert that incoming missiles is coming. Look, we right here at Park Street Station. We could run down to Park Street Station and be saved. There's Chinatown right there. There's, there's uh, downtown crossing right there. So they set their uh, uh, kingdom up, at least so that some of their people could survive. But here, if we go down here, under the uh, missiles coming, that's just, yeah, that's just our fucking it's uh, a trap. Yeah, it's a trap. Vladimir, you know, he, he's he has underground bunkers for millions of his citizens to go to. He built a train stations to be uh, to withstand a nuclear blast that the other was going into. I didn't even give a shit about the Americans. What's gonna happen? They got evacuation routes that go in circles that lead you to nowhere. Literally those videos of, uh, of kids getting underneath desks and <laughs> yeah. in a fetal position yeah. in case of an atomic bomb, you know? So they don't give a deal about these people. The elites are gonna get in an underground bunkers and they're gonna leave the next out here. You fend for yourself, man. It's cheap to set up with Britain. That's how this is gonna set this whole place up with all massive people try to follow these arrows or this long bring right to the circle so it just stops and they roll through, right? You know, you know what happens to a garden that gets blocked? It just stops. Bang them nails, come right up to the head of the coffin. All right? Now, Good. now this song is on the coming board from Yan Yanagai Israel Benjamin 144. He says, um, in Hosea 41, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of Yahweh in the land. That's right. That's There is no truth in America. No truth whatsoever. Everything that they teach you is a lie. Everything they try to bring up is a lie. America has been founded and built off of lies and deceit. Just ask the Native, just ask the Native Americans. They'll tell you. They'll tell you all about it, man. And then these devils try to go and tell the Native Americans, we're going to give you your own land and stick on the reservation. But anyway, that's the devil for you. And that's the devil for you. And this place can't be here. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for, for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of the fur. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place, and the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in that day of his fierce anger, and it shall be as the chase road and as the sheep that no man take them up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Everyone that is bound shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them 
shall fall by the sword. They're oh, well, that's, that's a good one because it says everyone that has found something for free will go for a lot of it. Yeah, these schools are being really exposed right now. Right. They're just doing a great job on social media uh, calling these guys out. You know? right. ESPN, Chuck, uh, Stephen A. Smith, Shaq, uh, and, and, and not just not just not just for you know. Uh, uh, Tap dancing for the so-called white men but being hypocrites. You had this guy Shaq who actually showed that that same movie that Kyrie Irving shared in his uh, movie theater. Yeah. But where's the outlast behind that? Or uh, where's the outlast behind what Jeff Bozo is doing? With Jeff Bezos and the other person. Yeah, he, he's just seen, he's just uh, uh, in the type, right? He's a so it's a Jewish person. I like that, right? Um, but where's the backlash behind what he's doing? Right, but they want to cancel make Kanye Irving and, 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 and Kanye and destroy them. So any any of our people that's going to the so-called white man, they're gonna be just you're gonna be put the death out of them. We don't speak for that. Yeah, it could be anybody else that speaks on it at the time. It just can't be the people on that side. When the people when the people on that side speak about the topic, they're 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 they're, they're people. People that look up to them are, are willing to be led, led into that. They're susceptible, I should say, to be led into that. Black Kyrie and Kanye and all these, all these rappers and everything that's been coming out as a part of the same that the men that this brother was talking about were speaking of them. They, they all have power and influence, right? So with that power and influence, they can stray their minds of the people. And, you know, Shaq and all those guys, they're nothing, they're nothing different than Onias, all those wicked priests with, that you read about, you know, Maccabees, they're, they're no different. The Pharisees, who really, who really tried to keep their position in the Romans. Their, their position with the Romans meant more to the description of, uh, I can't, I can't think of the word. It basically says that, that um, We'll lose, our, we'll lose our place. We'll lose that's, that's what it says. Lose our place. So, also, I got it. 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 Beyonce, Chase. They're, all, uh, they're all friends of these sellout kings. They're not one adversary, the Black Boulet, yep. who, who, who puts nothing but death yep. all right, uh, into our people, adultery, yep. uh, murder, and drugs to our people. Yep. Yep. And it's time that, uh, uh, it's time that you Jake, you Israelites, you so-called Black and American and Hispanics, you know, you take a stand, and You say, right. when are y'all gonna say enough is enough, man? Right. Enough is enough. Right. These people that are, 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 are put in these positions to represent our people, right. they don't represent the majority of us. They can't speak for, they shouldn't be able to speak for us, right? We should be able to cancel them. We should right. be able to dictate and control the narrative. We gotta take back the narrative from these goddamn devils. Because Kanye West is telling you people that it's these people all right, these days, these small hats, that's in control of the media. They're in control of your hospitals. They're in control of your entertainers, all right? So they're, they're setting a the narrative, and it's painting our people in a bad light. It, it, has, a, it has, has a negative content, and we gotta restrict it. We gotta, we gotta remove ourselves from anything that has to do with it, all right? Go ahead, bro. This is John 11, I'm starting at verse 45. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Yahweh did, believed on him. But some of them went went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahweh had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we for this man do many miracles? If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. Right. And it's really true. This is the They allow the influence to continue on and talk about the doctrine of the Right? They can they can carry away many because they have influence and people look up to them. Right? Go ahead. And the Romans and the Romans shall come and take away both our place yeah. and nation. Right. So that's what that's what the the, the stead of the Shapiro and Charles Barkley and all of these Stephen A, all these people that speak against uh, a guy like Kyrie, right? Um they're they're in that stead. They don't want they don't want their seat taken from them by the Romans. 
They want to stay in that stead. They want to keep that money. They want to keep that stead. <laughs> right? They want to keep all the all the the, the, the benefits and accolades and trinkets that come along with being in that stead. So they, it's, it's it really really what was was frustrating for me. That's the easy way. That's the easy way to do it. Right? And I can I can understand when I see when I see people who otherwise wouldn't be shit. Right? But they didn't talk shit about their people. Right. I, I feel I can feel the pain that you was back in these guys when you killed that man that was up on the altar. I can feel I can feel that pain. I understand why he would do that because it's it's frustrating to see your people. We we have we we have, we have the heavenly father on our side. We have the ultimate power on our side. We should be able to stand and there's enough of us. There's a, it's not like you're outnumbered. Yep. It's not like you're outnumbered. What's, what, what are they going to do? Take your job? But this is why. So, so you got, you know, the elder was talking about this a little bit earlier. They went from shackles and chains to now they, they threaten to take your money from you. But it's the, it's the same bond. They did the same thing they do in the Kyrie, the same thing they do in the Kanye, is what they did to the bucks in slavery, man. Those, those uh, big, strong slaves that was like, you know, that kind of had that ethnic mentality. I'm going to die before I become a slave to the to the white man, they they put them in front of them, all the all the other slaves and killed them in front of all the slaves, castrated them, burned them, but in front of all the other slaves, and that's what they're doing. But really, it's all it's all it's all too late. It's it's already taken root, and it's really it's having it's 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 counter it's counterproductive. So what they what they try to do is doing the opposite by them castrating Kyrie, by them castrating Kanye West, having the opposite effect. People want to know like. What is it about this thing? Kyrie, Kyrie Irving didn't get suspended. Well, he, didn't, he wasn't allowed to play home games, but he didn't get suspended for not taking the, the victim. Yeah. Right? It was fine. They didn't, really, they didn't really mess with him too much. But when he started talking about his culture, his heritage, that's when it, that's when it became a problem. And, 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 and the question is, stop, stop dancing around it, right? Ask this question. Ask them, what does anti-Semitic mean? Ask them. And if they say anything other than the descendants of Shem, then they're lying. That's right. Because that's where the term Shemite comes from. The term Shemite comes from, uh, that, that it is a, is a Latin way of saying um, nation. This is, this, is what, this, is what, this is the descendancy of these people. So if you're a ship, somebody go to uh, Genesis 11. Genesis 11, and I think it's 21. 11 to 21. It's 10 to 21. 10 to 21? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. 10 to 21. Got it. Oh, about the same, about the, um, so I was looking at that word, and it's not so, right? It, it really say anything when you speak against the so-called small, right? In the but, but there's more, there's more nations to the Shemites. Exactly. But it's just the, the so-called Jews. Right, so I was reading, I was like, what I came up to the conclusion is that the reason that they don't use Shem, because that, that Shem word, they made but it they up. are. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, like it's like when you, if you say Edom or you say Idumia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying the words. same thing, right? But you're just you're saying a different language uh, transliteration of that yeah. word. So they, when they say anti Semitic, they're saying the same thing. They're just not saying it in the in the tone, right? Another thing they didn't think that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the beat. Yep. I'm almost like with Christianity. They didn't think that you would actually study the Bible and get into it. Once people get into it, they're able to go into this word and show that these people absolutely don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're they don't know what they're speaking of. You know? Right. I'm about to say, and that's why I was saying with the sim thing because remember what they say when they when they talk about the Lord, Hashem. Right. Why you ain't saying it talks, you know, Shim, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say like that word Shim. Yeah, they, 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 they play around with words. They do a lot of playing around, right? Yeah. But the problem is the men of the Lord are in their stead. Yep. The scriptures say that the teachers will be hid in the corner. Yep. Right? So now we can give the context to the things that Ky Kyrie and Kanye they don't have the context. Yeah. Right? They're just mad at what's happening to them. Not necessarily to their people as a whole. They are upset about Kanye West in particular, upset about the contracts that are happening to him. Right. Upset about what Adidas is doing to him. So he says these things because of the things that he We'll, we'll offer the context. We'll, we'll offer what those words mean. We'll offer what the what the culture and the heritage behind these words mean. We'll offer it. And then really there's no argument at that point. How can we be if, if how can we be anything anti-Semitic, right? 
when we come from sin just the same way that the so-called Jews did. Right. Exactly. Come on. Come on. All, it, all it takes is a, a yep. conversation, a history lesson. That's all it takes. Right? right? Yep. 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 Sin and judgment. So they say that, that you, you people are out of your mind, man. But for, for they say that they, 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 that they, they bring out the truth as a touching the concern of what these people are doing to our people, and they say that we're anti uh, Semitic because of that. You people are out of your mind. You're crazy, man. I seen a video of Amalek saying uh, uh, death to Palestine, death to the oh, yeah, Palestinians yeah. Yeah. Are, are Semitic. So what does that make you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. um, when, when, when you when you when you when you say when you say the word nigger, that's anti-Semitic. Yeah. Yeah. Spick, wetback, so forth and so on. Yep. Those things are anti-Semitic because you're saying it against Semitic people. It's very, it's very simple. It's very simple. But the problem is, that Esau, Esau, he, 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 the Heavenly Father. What's that? What's that? Uh, Job 14, where it says he set up the bounds. Yeah, 14, 14. Somebody get that. Somebody get that. And really, this is what's happening. The the world is slipping through the grips of Esau. He's losing his grips on people because really, really, what's what you gonna do with millions of dollars if America's gonna be destroyed? Exactly. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with the millions of dollars that you have in these uh, electronic accounts when America gets destroyed, or or when they when they transfer all of those things into the chip? What are you gonna do? What are you, what are, what are you going to do? They're, they're, all those things will be worthless. Really, money is worthless anyway. It's, it's worthless anyway. If you if you can take like I was just talking to this brother just a little while ago. If we if we I forget what brother said this, but it was a great point. If if we if we were to go around printing money, right? If we owned a business and we said, okay, my, my business right now is primarily online, right? But I want to open a brick and mortar store, right? And to do that, I'm going to print money and then go to the owner of the building to, uh, to open up my store. If I, if I do that, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail, but this is what they do to bail out their, their companies. They print money and give it to them and say, hey, hey, you know, you, you're not failed yet. Forget it, right? You're forgiven, right? So we're so what's, what's happening overall is they're slipping through their grips and they're just holding on to the last, the last little bits and pieces of things that they can hold on to. And really, really apologizing to them, I'll try to do this thing. All, all the times that that camera's in your face, that's an opportunity for you to explain what's going on. Man. It's an opportunity for you to say, well, here's what here's what what's Semitic back, means in the first place. Semitic just means that you're a descendant of sin. And you go to the all scriptures. All right, all right. You go to the scriptures and you, and you, and you, you outline, you outline all those nations that come from sin. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Brother said, brother don't be looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Um, yes, get that first. Get that first, and then we'll and then go to uh, Genesis. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Job fourteen verse five yeah, yeah. says, "A city's days are determined." Yep. The number, his, his days are determined. The heavenly Father decided a long time ago. When you go to Romans the ninth chapter, it will tell you that before. Uh, uh, the children were born before they had done any good or evil. He decided who, he, who was his chosen, or who, let me say it this way, who was his vessel to honor, and who was his vessel to dishonor. He, he decided that long before we've seen anything that we see today, right? So his time was determined, and then, keep going. So 14 verse 5, yeah. see his days are determined, yep. the number of mortal would be. Yep. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Thou has his bounds that he cannot pass. And he's coming up on the on the edge of that bound. Right? He's leaning so that he don't get pushed off of that bound, man. That boundary. His time, his time is almost up. So he's hanging on to his last little pieces of, of uh, power. As strongly as he can. So really, it's, it's over for you. It's over for you, sir. You're being discovered. Uh, somebody hold, uh, what's that? Uh, yeah, what's that? Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47. Hit me with this. Genesis 10. Isaiah 47. No, no, no. No, I just I think. Uh, 
Genesis 10 and uh, 21. Yeah. Unto Shem, yep. also, the father of all the children of Eber, right. the brother of Japheth, yep. the elder, even to him were children born. Yep. The children of Shem, yep. Elon, yep. and Ashur, yep. and a, 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 a fax that. Yep. A fax that. A fax that. Yep. Yep. Which, is, which is where both so-called black people <laughs> and so-called white people come from. Mm -hmm. Our facts said, we both come from them, right? Ishmaelites, they come from our facts said, right? Keep going. And Lud and Aram. And the children of Aram, Uz and Ho and Gether and Mosh. And our facts, our facts that begot Salah. And Salah begot Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. Shoktan, right? Or Joktan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the name of one was Pele, yep. and for his, and for in his days was the earth divided, right. and his brother's name was Jotan. Yeah. So we come Jotan. from Pele, right? So that's this. The heavenly Father is, is in this in this history is, is is showing you the separation that happened for the children of Shem, because there was only one chosen line for the children of Shem, right? If that went all the way to the Lord Yahweh Shai, of course, right? But we've fallen there. We fall in there because why? We're Israelites just like the Lord Yahweh Shai is an Israelite. That's right. That's right. right. So he he picked the ultimate man, right? So if you think of if you think of a sifter, right? You put you put you put some flour into a sifter, and then you sift it, right? All the chunks stay in there, right? And then your container that the good flour is in, you sift it again. You sift it out, and then you take that container, throw all the chunks out, and sift it again. Or triple distilling of wine. Right? That's what you, uh, you, for you Hennessy lovers out there, that's all, all that is is dis, the distilled wine. So you're, you're, it's, it's just a process of, of sifting out all the impurities. Same thing, they do the same thing with gold. The necklaces that you have on, what they do, they burn it, it solidifies, they burn it again, it solidifies, and each time they take the dross out. Right? So the Lord Yahweh Shai or the nation of Israel, with the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shai on top of that, are the ultimate men. They're the ultimate men and women and nation because the Heavenly Father did a sifting to choose out one nation that would rule the whole earth. And they're scared of that. And, then that's a, and, and they're petrified by that. Well, it's, and it's really, it's, just, it's a little bit more than just fear because they, they're they trying to, by power of, well, but like the scriptures say, by power of the sword, take on that rulership. Not because they're, they're the better choice, because the Heavenly Father chose who was the better choice. But by the power of the sword, are they trying to take over the, the dominance of the world, man? I just add this to you real quick. And it's important for you Israelites to know that these people know who are the children, who are the uh, Heavenly Father's chosen. It's never been a mystery. They've always known. They've you know who didn't? Us. Yes, That's right. That's right. Yes. The rest of the world knows. Yes. Esau knows. Yes. Uh, go somebody go to um, Psalms 83. Yes. Somebody go to Psalms 83. Everybody knows but us. It says so that the so that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Every other nation knows who we are. It's not a mystery when these other these other when, they, when these YouTube videos go out to all the rest of the world. It's no mystery. They know what's going on. Look up in the stars and see, see signs and know that you know what's happening. In fact, you real quick too. Even on YouTube, you got that far more around the world. That's those other nation who are the Israel today. And you actually mentioned the the Negro, the Negro, the Negro. I got that Psalms. Oh uh, yeah, Psalms. Eight. What else? What else I call for? Isaiah 47. Okay, let's go. Psalms 83. Yeah, I want I want you to read that whole. I got that. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 83, verse 2. For lo, yeah. thy enemies make a tumult, yeah. and they that hate have, for they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people yeah. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Right. They have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation." You know, you know how you do that. You know how you do that. When you get into the seat of power, right? What do you do? You destroy all the records. You destroy all the history. And then when you go about to rewrite it, right? When you when you're rewriting and repainting the the, the stories of history, you put yourself in that place, right? And then you tell them, well. You got taken from Africa, so you must be a Hamite. So now you, you, not, now, not only do you destroy 
the, the, the history, right? They're linked back to the, the East, but now you've also replaced it with something else, right? So it really, really, it was a master plan by Esau, man. It was a master plan. And what's, what's, what, what they're really upset about is that their master plan is being unfurled. That's really what they're mad about. The, the time and effort that they went to went to, that, to make sure that we wouldn't find out about this stuff. It's time and effort. It's being exposed, man. You can't do, you can't even do wrong right. Yeah, go ahead. Second Maccabees chapter 6 verse 4. Uh, the point is in six, I'm going to read four. Yep. Yep. Uh, for the temple was filled with riot and reveling yep. by the Gentiles yep. who dallied with harlots and had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. Yep. And besides, that brought in things that were not lawful. The altar also was filled with profane things yep. which the law forbiddeth. Yep. Neither was it lawful for men to keep the Sabbath days or the ancient fi uh, ancient feasts. Right. So they so they made it against the law to practice our our, our customs, man. Yeah. But when we kept the Sabbath, when we were keeping the other high holy days, right? If if we were circumcising our children, all these things became illegal. Right. Go ahead. Neither was it lawful for men to keep the Sabbath days or ancient feasts, yep. or to profess himself at all to be a Jew, or profess himself to be a Jew. What are they doing to this guy Kyrie? What are they doing to this guy Kanye? You can't call yourself a Jew. But we we are those people. We had, right. we had Kanye taken out of a wax museum, right? Oh, yep, in yep. the same building that you have Adolf Hitler in. Right. Oh. But, they'll, but, they'll, but they'll say Kanye's anti Semitic. Yeah, but Hitler's the anti Semitic. Right. 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 The epitome of anti Semitic. The epitome of the annihilator, the small hat annihilator, right. Mr. Gas Chamber himself. <laughs> he's good to go. They use his quote that he said about the jewelry of the Most High against Kyrie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or, or Kanye, you can't make this yeah, up. Man. Quote, man. And it's it's causing people to think, like, okay, what is what is this above this right. Jew thing? You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look into this thing, yeah. and the Lord is going to point them to the avenues of you men that's on the highways and the byways, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and that's why you got to be on point, man. You got to be ready to teach what they say the that, masses. What they say that Kanye was a uh, 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 he was an admirer, an admirer of him. That's what they were saying. But like you were saying, yeah. They, yeah. have him, they have him in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's in a he's worse than yeah, but this is, but this is but this is what this is what the tactics of, of the modern world are. They 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 choke on the, the emotions that people need. Really, because really it's just it's just simply a conversation. It's just simply a conversation. You you people, while you are Semites, are not Israelites. It's a very easy conversation. And you want to have the conversation, we can have the conversation. We can go into the scriptures, we can go into history, and show you that you are not an Israelite. That's right. right. You, are, you are a Shemite, right? And you and you are Abrahamic. But you're an Edomite. That's right. right. That's Edomite. right. Edomite. You're an Edomite. Jacob's the evil. Worst of the worst. All, the, all those, all those, worst. Uh, those, uh, those small hats, you got, <laughs> what's this guy? Uh, Adam Mike, Silver. Michael, uh, Adam Silver. Adam Silver. Yeah. 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 Who, who's, who's a professional? Oh, oh the dude from Def Jam? Have you never seen the movie? Leo, Leo um, Cohen. You, you, you yeah. haven't. You Leo haven't Cohen. He was, he, was per he was perfect at that role. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Rappaport was perfect at that role, man. You know? I still thought he whatever, was. Whatever the fuck he is, he's a Edomite. He's yeah, a dirty right. dog. Because right. you yeah. love niggas, man, if you yeah, want to be honest about it. Yeah. You know? That's that infatuation. Yeah, 100%. Listen to how that guy talks. I bet you he, he be trying to pop all kinds of Jake women. But you, yeah, yeah, but you but you got problems. You you, you so-called white people that have been calling yourselves Israelites over these years, you're being exposed. That's right. You're Edomites. That's right. You're Edomites. Nothing more, nothing, nothing less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Edomite. Yeah, oral circumcision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oral oral and oral check, the, check your records, no man. No flavor, no swag, yeah. no salt. You don't even believe in the, in the Bible. Right. 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 In, your, in your writings, you say you got to put the Talmud over the Bible. Right. And even in the Talmud, tells you the real Israelites are. Right. Can I, can, I, can I come into a piece of mind? You, 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 yes, yes, go ahead. This um, second Ezra, chapter 6, was 54, 55. Yeah. And it says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou made a slaughter of all thy creatures, yeah. of yeah. him come we all. Yeah. 
and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right. And the people whom thou hast chosen. Right. So that means there's a, there's a distinction. Right. Right. Because that's what that's the argument that most people make. Right. That we we all come from Adam. Right? We all got the same blood and all that poor shit. But the Lord the Lord didn't just do all this sifting for no reason. The Lord did sifting for a reason. He did sifting because he didn't want us together. If he wanted us to all be together, the Genesis 9 and 10 would have never happened. Right? That's right. That would have never happened. There wouldn't have been a, a dividing. There wouldn't have been a, 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 a confusing of the language. Yeah, Those things, exactly. What it is, there is. It's one right there. It's one right there. It's one right here. On the other side of the block. And then they're building another one behind you. Right? So they built they built dozens of, of towers of Babel, right? But you yeah, yeah, Edomite, Esau. They got some more. So, stop calling white people white people. Call them Edomite. That's right. right. That's right. Just get a, 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 a compromise. Know, what's, your, what's your nationality? If they say anything but Edomite, you're like, no, you're Edomite. That's the lie detector. You're Edomite. You're Edomite. And it's and it's and it's and it's a beautiful time to live in. That's right. That's right. It's a beautiful time to live in. The Heavenly Father has given us back. The, the, our heritage, man. Just like he promised. He's giving us back our culture like he promised. That's right. And every everybody on earth is going to fall in line. Man. Everybody on everybody on the planet is going to fall in line to the, the children of Israel. Everybody. And you had, you had um, goddamn uh, neo-Nazis. Mm. Who was it? Uh, was it uh, on the bridge, Moore, right? Yeah, on the bridge. Well, uh, Saying Kanye was yeah, right. Kanye was right. Yeah. Revelation. Two and know, nine. Two and nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the whole world, the whole world is getting ready for a rude awakening. Yep. I can bring this quote out with rude awakening. The whole world is getting ready to be flipped upside down, man. I'm tired of that. Let me just finish real quick. It's me. It's me. And it says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Right. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing, <laughs> but be like unto spittle, right. and as like in the abundance of them unto a drop that falling from a vessel. That's it, that's it. The other nations are like unto spittle, especially the Edomites. Yeah. They, they are the worst of the worst. That's right. And, they, and they're right. tracked. Yeah, the yeah. Amalek. The yeah. Amalek. Yeah. Amalek. Yeah. They, your track record in history has shown yeah. that y'all are pieces of garbage, man. Yeah. 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 Every yeah. chance. Yeah. 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 Every, every chance you get. <laughs> <laughs> every chance you get, every chance you get, yeah, you, act, 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 you know, act accordingly. You act like an asshole, man. The Lord give you a little bit of power, you you abuse it. Man. Your own people don't even like your ass. Right. Yeah, right. Oh yeah. Right. They hate niggas and Jews. Niggas and Jews. I'm like, you a dirtbag, man. That's that's what you really mad about. You, you know what happens, bro? Jake like to talk shit, man. And if if, if we if we if, if, if our people find out. That these people are, are Amalek, we gonna make fun of them. Man. They, that's why they, that's what they're dreading for real. We gonna be we gonna be making fun of you all day. Really, that's what we are gonna be having roast sessions. Amalek, 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 he might not have been Edomite, but I'm, I'm going to say Edomite anyway. He said, uh, he said, why don't we hang out, bro? You know, we can go and get grabs with this. Nah, man. He was like, he was like why? Why? Man, you know, you're cool. You think I'm cool, right? He said, all right, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. You're okay. Hey, I told him, I said, well, then, you know, to be honest with you, I'm scared of white people. <laughs> he said, he said, and he was quiet. We sitting. I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of white people, man. I can't, I can't fuck with that. Y'all do things different." He said, well, "Well, what do you mean? Give me an example." I said, "Let me tell you a story, man. I can't remember where I saw this video from, man. But it was a, it was a group of white kids, and they was in a van, and one of the dudes uh, fell asleep. And so to, um, to, to prank him, they pull this, they pull this dude's pants down, and put a carrot in his ass, oh, and man. started taking pictures of him, right? And as I'm telling him this story, he's cracking up laughing." Right? 
And I, so I stopped telling her, I said, you see, this is why we can't hang out because you <laughs> think something like that is funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. like that, somebody got to die. That's yeah. 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 Somebody do that to me, somebody <laughs> gonna die that day. Either, either, me, yeah. either me or you. But yeah. Yeah. Somebody, somebody gotta, gotta go. That day, that day, <laughs> the day that that happens, but you think it's funny. That's why we, 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 don't, we don't mesh. But like I said, Edomites are dirt bags, man. But I remember um, going to the school I went to was in the area where there was predominantly white kids. Them, those people are not regular people. Man. They do a lot of shit, man. Two men are people. That's it. Separated from their body. That's it, man. This, this one kid, he had uh, come, he walked through the locker room, he took his balls out of his pants, and let his balls hang out, the, the, his, uh, you know, the football trousers or whatever you have. Just walking around the locker room with his balls hanging out. That's that's not hey, yeah, normal. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's not normal. Esau is a fucking dirtbag. And really, really, they they just want to be that way and not have nobody say nothing to them. This is why Antiochus told them, like, look, we're gonna make them do what we do. We're gonna make them follow our ways and our our laws. Cause they want to just be gay, doing weirdo <laughs> shit, man. You know, you you Edomites are are dirtbags, man. <laughs> You're, and you're Edomites. Violent, you're not Israelites. Right. That land that you ain't over there in Israel doesn't belong to you. And the Heavenly Father is going to give it back to us. Yeah. Right. I was preaching. Yeah. Um, yeah um, this is from the book of uh, Habakkuk. This is GMS Spiritual Art. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. That's it. That's it. His soul is not upright. Hey, Esau, man. Yeah, yeah, he has the rest. And it says, um, Con and it says, but the just shall live by his faith. What are you doing over there, witch? Salem witch. That's Paul Revere. Look. Hey, hey, America's gonna be destroyed, man. That's right. That's right. You know that? Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you an anti Semite? Hey, you an anti Semite? Come over here, buddy. Come here, guy. Come on. Come here for a second, man. Bring your candle. Nah, keep the lamp over there. We don't know what spirit is on that. That oil, that oil, that oil. There's no oil in there. There's no oil in there right now. We need two. I've met this more from the heathen, yeah. thou art greater than five. Yeah. Your father that heart had deceived thee, thou art the dwellest in the cleft of the rock. You, you anti-Semitic? You not? What's that word mean, you know? Say it again? No, that's not what it means. Semitic covers a, a, a widespread of nationalities. Mm -hmm. the, 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 a Jew is just one of them. And really, a Jew is just a tribe of a nation of one of those nations. Mm -hmm. Right? You you hearing about the Kyrie Irving situation? Kanye West? You're more of a Kanye West kind of guy. I can tell by your fashion sense. Oh, man, that dude ain't get, kind of ain't get it in the mail yet. He ain't get it in the mail yet. You know Kanye West is, right? <laughs> you, you know the Yeezys and all of that? Yeah. And all of the, the debacle that he's having? He's losing all his uh, endorsements and everything like that? You know why? Because he had anti-Semitic marks, remarks, right? But you know that the so-called black people that you see, show him that sign over there. That those so-called black people on that side, those are the real Israelites. So we can't be anti-Semitic, because we are Semitic. Show him that sign. Turn that sign around. He might not be able to see that one. It's a little dark. But show him that sign. We, 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 we are uh, the, the Semitic people. And matter of fact, we're the top of the Semitic people. We're the top of the Semitic people. So out of all of the Semitic nations, we're the top of them. Matter of fact, out of the three brothers, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? Shem was the top of those three. He got the blessing over uh, Ham and Japheth, right? And then when you go down the line and you get to the children of Israel, they got the blessing over all the other nations that came from Abraham. So they're the top of the top of the top. Go to, somebody go to Isaiah the second chapter? <laughs> Isaiah the second chapter? We're just, we're just teaching the world about anti-Semitism. It's impossible for so-called black people to be anti-Semitic because they are Semitic. That's right. right. Witchcraft. Isaiah 2 and 1. Yep. The word of Isaiah, the son of uh, Amos, yep. saw concerning Ju uh, Judah and Jerusalem. Yep. Judah and Jerusalem is the kingdom of Israel separated into two parts. You had the southern kingdom and you had the northern kingdom. The southern kingdom being Judah, 
the northern kingdom being Israel. Keep going. And it shall come to pass in the look, last days. Look, look at these beautiful Semite people right here. Y'all are Israelites, you know that? You know you guys are Israelites? You know that? Sure. Yeah, it's okay, it's that's okay. Levi. We yeah, weren't too Levi. sure at one time either. Yeah, Levi. But now we're sure. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. That's Levi. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established yep. and the top of the mountains <laughs> and shall be exalted above the hills right. and all nations shall, shall flow unto it. shall be exalted it. above the hills, right? So we're going to be at the top of the top, man. Right. The Heavenly Father made the, the nation of Israel the top nation. Yeah, man, it's too drippy. Right? Right? So we can't be no, Semitic if we come to right. right. the <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that ain't right. That's Benji, though. can't be anti-Semitic if we come from Shem. Oh, man. That's what Kyrie was saying in the interview. He was like, hey, I can't be anti-Semitic because oh. I know where I come from. Yeah, but see, but you got to let it out the, the bag, bag, bro. Yeah, you already yeah, caught, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. You already caught. You Not thought yeah. you was good. You showed the little documentary on your Instagram, babe. You already caught. <laughs> let the cat out the bag, bro. Yeah. Let the, oh, you know what? Let me, let me shut up, man. Let me not tell you what to do. Let me not tell you what to do. Somebody get, somebody get, uh, what is it? Uh, it's, uh, that, uh, 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 Yeah, at the end of the day. Right. So, so everybody, every man has their lot. Right? Oh, yeah. So let me not tell Kyrie what to do and how to do it. That he's yeah. in his lot. We're in ours. The scriptures say this. When you go to, uh, uh, what is that, 1 Corinthians 14 and 32, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. So it's, it's not his job to do this. It's not his job. Okay. He, the Lord the Lord calls him to do what the Lord wanted him to do, which was stir the pot a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now we'll, we'll take it from here. We'll take it from here. The men of the Lord will take it from here, right? Because we, we've been doing this for years. Nobody wanted to pay attention to us. Nobody came down here with you. You put a camera and a tape recorder in front of me. I'm going to tell you everything. I don't have anything to lose like he does. Scripture also says count the cards. That's what it says, bro. You know, when, you, when, you, when you really, really, really about the Lord's work, when you counted the cards, you, 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 you said that you were willing to sacrifice everything, your job, your family, your money, your life in itself. And, and, and that's the thing with these, these people you got to understand. And not just these people hire. Everybody got to understand. You really have to be ready to die for your nation. You have to be ready to stand firm for what you believe. I was watching an interview with uh, Dan Dash on the way up here today. He threw me off when he said God was giving him. Oh, oh, yeah. But before he said that, he said something about it. He said, he said, uh, he said, he said that, uh, exactly. Uh, Mutt, Mutt, uh, he said, it slipped my mind just that quick. I got that quick. But when it, when it all is real, it'll come to you. I got something about money. This is uh, Ma Matthew 16 and verse 24. They say, Yahweh shot unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So we have to understand that there are things that you're going to have to sacrifice in order, in order for this thing to be accomplished. And this is why positionship is so important. When I say positionship, I mean this. Right? <laughs> Give me not too little that I force oh, you, oh, yeah. right? And give me not too much oh, that I yeah. give you, right? So the Heavenly Father got us in this real sweet spot, yep. right? In this pocket where we don't have much to gain and we don't have much to lose. So we can stay in that pocket and, and teach the word and be out on these highways and byways with, with, with uh, uh, little to no risk, if you will. Right? We, don't, we, don't have we don't have influence on the people that think about but it's going to happen for you. also give us an example of men that were up there in the prophet status. Moses gave him an ultimate example. He was really gave it all the way. He said, choosing rather than suffer affliction from the Lord than to live in pleasure and sin for a season. 
hundred percent. Hundred percent. He was willing to give away. He was. He was up, up yep. in uh, <laughs> he was up in Pharaoh's court. Yeah. 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 He was up in Pharaoh's court. Joseph, same thing. Joseph, same thing. Right. Um, uh, matter of fact, is it? Um, who wanted? Who wanted? Nehemiah. Yeah. Nehemiah. When he was when he was a cupbearer. And uh, and uh, for for for, uh, Zer for Xerxes, right? He was he was sad. He here it is. He living good. He was cut there for the for the king of all the known world, right? But he was sad. And, his, and the king asked him something, man. What you sad for? Eh? Didn't I give you everything? I gave you everything you could need. What you sad for? He said because my people are being strangled. So he was he was willing to to leave. His stead as cupbearer for the king, like that, and go back to his people happened. so they can rebuild the temple. Like, he was at Cyrus. Maybe I'm getting my, my stories mixed up. Either way, he was he was prepared to give away all that he had, all his what his seat was, and right and go tend to his people. Mordecai the same way, Esther the same way, right? That's that's the mark. The, the Maccabean brothers they was offered kingship. It was offered rulership, right? There was a priest in uh, Second Maccabees who, who they who they was trying to he said they was they was trying to make him the fort so he could he could sway those other people, to eat, right? Eliezer, yes, exactly that, exactly that. And um, they was like, all right, all right, fine. You don't gotta you don't gotta eat pork. Just pretend it's pork and eat it anyway. So we can we can get the you know control. And he was like, look, I'm an old man. What do I, what I need to go and do this for for you? I'm, I'm getting ready to die soon, so I might as well die valiantly. And he was right. That's it. That's it. Those Maccabees, that's the mindset you should be in. Read that once a week. Read 2 Maccabees, the second chapter, once a week. The seventh chapter, what did I say? The second chapter. The second chapter. The second, I'm sorry. Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter. That's right. Second Maccabees, read that once a week, man. It gets you in the right frame of mind. You, you got to be willing to, to lose everything, man. You have to. Because Esau's going to try to take it from you to get you to stop talking about the truth. They, what did they do? What did they do to uh, the apostles? After the Lord had died and they started teaching in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, what did they do? They was kicking their ass, man. He said, look, didn't we, didn't we tell you not to teach in this name? They was kicking their ass, man. And he said, look, we'd rather obey men, I mean, sorry, the most high than men, you know? What's that, uh, Acts, is it Acts 5? No, 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 Acts. It's in 5, yep, yep. There's also an Acts, I think, three. Three. What's the one that we, uh, Proverbs in 30? I'd rather obey the most high than 29, I think it is, or 28? It's up, it's up in there, it's up in there. Yeah, where, where, where we say, uh, um, yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm trying to think of the scripture that we always go to. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Acts 25, verse 28, uh, verse 27, verse 25, verse 25. It's like, uh, then Kim warned and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom you put in prison are sitting in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officer and brought them without fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they so still the people saying three. that they should have been stoned. Right, yeah, no, no. And when they have brought them, Oh, is he? Is he? Where you, where you, where you at? Where, where you at? Yeah, yeah, he's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Jump up, jump up. Jump up the one. Jump up the one. We'll read those. Acts 5 verse 1. Yeah. Yeah. For the certain men, Ananias, who's Sophara, his wife. Ah, don't go up down. Oh, you want to start? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, brother. I don't know what to start. I was saying. 17. What is 17? What is 17? What is 17? Acts 5 verse 17. Then the high priest was up in all day down with him, and reached the sect of the Sadducees, and was filled with indignation, and laid the head on the apostles, and they put them in common prison. They laid their hands on the apostles and laid them in common prison. When they say, laid them their hands on him. They ain't talking about laying hands on him like he was giving them a blessing. No, they was laying hands on him. They was putting them things on him. Right. They was kicking their ass, man. You got to think, right? The apostles were getting stoned. They was getting beat up, getting thrown in prison. They probably was walking around with black eyes, bruises, arms and slings. You know, there wasn't, there wasn't a cakewalk for them. Though. But they kept doing it. 
They kept pushing the word because that was the operative thing. Push the word. Go ahead, bro. But the, Watch your back. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak. Watch your back, brother. Watch your back. Anti-Semitism going on. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Acts 5 verse 19. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison door and brought them forth and said, Go speak and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and talked by the by the high priest. But the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the senates of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came and found them not in prison, they returned and told, saying, Look, 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 Oh, he don't want to lose his job. He did, he did. He about to get fired. Lose yeah. his life. Yeah. 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 Wife pregnant. He ain't lose his job. I need, I need. I need. I need. The prison truly found me. The prison truly found me. We shot in our safety. I went there and I told him that it was a cop. On Caesar. Yeah, yeah. On Caesar. I put that on Caesar. I put that on Caesar. I don't know how they got out. And the keepers standing without before the doors, but when we had opened, we found no more weapon. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these things, they doubted of them one to two Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men who me put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officer and brought with them right. without so, violence. So, so even, even against all odds, right? Even through the threat of prison, right? Even through the threat of losing their life, they went and taught anyway. They went and taught anyway, man. And that's what we do. Then the captain with the officer and brought them without violence, for they feared the people lest they should have be stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did we not straightly command you that you should not yeah. teach in the name? Did we not straightly command you? That was with aggression right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out of frustration, and aggression. And this, you yeah. gotta think, because the, the Sadducees, they were jakes too, man. Yeah. But they wasn't no, no, no pussy boys. Like, man, did we tell you not to teach in this name? I hate you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm about to be about my father. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you what you're saying, but look, I mean, y'all locked us up yesterday. Look, in there right we now. Out, we out. <laughs> we outside. We outside. outside. You gonna yeah. put us back in there? You gonna put us back in there? You know, good. We outside. And, and behold, we have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine uh, yeah. and intent to bring this man's blood upon us. Right. That's right. That's right. And really, too, they 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 afraid of that too. You saw it. Because now they gotta pay. Because there was a, a Roman centurion that that, that pierced off him. Yeah. He got to pay. He's here too. Yeah. He's here. The Lord's gonna fuck you up, man. That's right. And you know who you are. I don't know who you are. But but you know who you are. You know what you did. The Lord's gonna fuck you up. You know. Go ahead. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. Excuse my language. I don't know how to say that. Go ahead. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. We ought to be the how about shit right than men. Right. That's what I was, that's what I want. We'd rather be the Lord than men, man. We're gonna we're gonna be about our father's business if you will. Right? This is the stead that we're in. So you know what? You got this guy Kyrie, he apologized, but what I, I can't blame him. I can't hold that against him. This is this is not his thing. Right? We we counted the cost and this has become our career. The, the, the scriptures talk about being stewards. Right? The steward is someone who takes a place of the master to the master. We're stewards, right? Somebody look up that word, steward. S T E W A R D. Steward. Huh? Steward. Speak up a little bit. Steward. A person who looks after the passengers on a ship, aircraft, or train, or cruise of the Yep. 
cabinet attendant, member of the cabinet staff. A cabinet attendant, member of the cabinet staff, right? So uh, being a steward is a high position that you have. That's helpful, right? So a responsibility. So this is this is our duty. I can't expect uh, Kyrie to, you know, you know, lose his apology right around the corner. Just be quiet, man. Just be quiet. We, 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 we don't go to work calling Esau the devil, man. That's what you did essentially. You thought you was gonna get away with it, but you really you ain't got the uh, as a Farrakhan would say, the testicles. Fortitude. The testicular fortitude. It takes it takes you to be a man who's boss. There's a, there's a certain level of manhood, right? You gotta you gotta have the you gotta have iron, you gotta have iron cast cast iron testicles, man, to do this thing. Because because what is a testimony? What is a testimony but you on your own unborn children testifying that what you want to do? This is our testimony. If I may I know the the words are official. Um, official, yep. organizer, organizer, yep. uh, overseer, overseer, right? So this is St. Kyrie's, this ain't your gig, bro. This ain't your gig. Shut up and dribble. I was just thinking, I was like, you don't want to think about it. Yeah, shut up and dribble, man. Shut up and dribble. Study some more. Go put your, you know, your, 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 your handling all your verses, your first layups. Work on your package, man. This is not for you. Really, what you should be doing is you should be figuring out a way to funnel some money. Yeah, absolutely. Just absolutely, just absolutely, just absolutely. You put your money to you. James 1 and 12, because he's a man that endures temptation, but when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. He was put in the fire, right? And you didn't have the proper faith, and you didn't have the proper foundation. You got to come to the middle of the world. You're not saying hustle, go to the apostles, right? You're not saying hustle, in particular, go to the apostles, right? And, and, and learn, and learn what it is to be a man of faith. You know, you have, you have no faith, that's why you're you going to put your foot in your mouth. You got to put your foot in your mouth. You say this, you say this, I don't apologize. I don't apologize. What I said, that was wrong. You don't, have to, you don't even have to be, I tell people this all the time. Having, having a conflict doesn't mean you have to be aggressive. Those are two different things. Conflict and aggression are different, right? You can use aggression to have a conflict. But they're not the same thing, right? So you could just say, hey, look, man, I don't, don't, don't want to apologize. I didn't say nothing wrong. And if I did, tell me what exactly that I said that was wrong. And Sir, really, they, don't have, they won't have an answer. Yeah, you could be a basketball player and post the most useless rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 how you said it. I'm going to kill this bitch. Yeah, yeah. I'm 40, I'm going to fuck your bitch. I'm going to kill this nigga. Yeah. yeah. And no, nothing happens to you. Nothing sense it. You post a movie that you didn't produce, that you didn't write. It's a repost, it's just a retweet. You're just, you're just saying what, no, you're just saying what you watch for the night. Yeah, I'm about to kick back and watch this little flip right here. Everybody does that. Who doesn't do that? Everybody posts what they about to watch or what they watched over the weekend. Or oh, this is a good book, read this book, whatever. But he getting in trouble for it? It's because this is not his stead. This speech is not the speech that you love. Oh, not everybody love. I, I agree with that. Free. I agree with that. Free speech is not that. Free free speech is not free. <laughs> free speech is not free. Not not paid for. This, is what he's, this is what he's seeing. This is what he's seeing. You wanna I know I know what it feels like when you have information that you want to bring out. I know what that feels like. When we first got into the truth, I wanted to tell everybody, man. But you, you quickly learn that you can't tell everybody. Because Jake is already willing to put ready to put you in the news, man. Your own people. You can't talk too much. You gotta be, you gotta have what is that? What is that? Let me, let me find it. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna find it because I just I just read this earlier. I was reading this earlier. Let me find it. Let me find it. Bear with me for a second. I typed in the word discretion. Here we go. 
Somebody, somebody get Proverbs 1 and 4. I got it right here. Somebody get Proverbs 2 and 11. And somebody get Proverbs 5 and 2. So the first one, Proverbs 1 and 4. Somebody read that. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 4. To give subtility to the simple, yep. to the young man knowledge yep. and discretion. Yep. To the young man knowledge and discretion. Man. Somebody look up the word discretion. Somebody look up, whoever didn't give me the whole thing. Look up the word discretion. D I S C R E T I O N. I got you. Discretion. Discretion. Yep. And it says the quality of behaving or speaking in such a way as to avoid causing offenses. As to avoid causing offenses. Go ahead. Or revealing private information. Revealing private information. Why can't you just believe what you believe? Let me not tell everybody what you know. Matter of fact, uh, the brothers did a beautiful documentary on this. Man. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was called. I think it was called Straight. If I'm not mistaken. And basically, you know how, how the documentary opened. You got to tell everybody everything. You know. Just because you know something, don't mean you got to tell people. That's wisdom. That's called wisdom. Matter of fact, somebody get that other scripture there. Um, Proverbs 2 and 11. Proverbs 2 and 11. Yep. Discretion shall preserve thee. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Just do you go to your job and say, look, um, can, I, can, I, can I set up a meeting with you, uh, Mr. Johnson? Hey, you and Mr. Johnson in the conference room. So I just want to let you know you might see some videos about me. I'm an Israelite. Be out there teaching. Every day. You don't got to do that. This, this, this one's moving right now. There's no value in that. That's the cloud. And that, what's, that, what's that other one I call? Correct. Proverbs 5 and 2. Proverbs, I saw that one. Proverbs 5. Start at 1. Proverbs chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 1. And he says, uh, My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ears to my understanding, that thou mayest with God's discretion, and that my, thy lips may keep knowledge. Your lips keep knowledge. And you're going to tell everything you know, man, just because you know. What does it do for you? Chill, huh? This is the form that the Heavenly Father set up for us. We see, uh, what's that? Uh, what's that? Matthew 22 and 9? Somebody get that for me? Matthew 22 and 9? Matthew 22 and 9? Uh, Matthew 22, verse 9. And it reads, um, I started at verse 8, 15 minutes. Uh, then, Matthew 22 and 8. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready. But they which were bidden were not worthy. Right, right. He, he, he didn't have the proper wedding marks. That's all. It's not your fault. You, know, you had good intentions. Your, your intentions were in the right place. So I don't want to. I don't want to make fun of Kyrie because what he did was was hard to do. You know? But listen, listen. Now that you're in the hot seat, you know, just, just you know, what I would say to you is relax and let the men of the Lord take it from there. That's what's really gonna happen. Anyway. Uh, somebody go to. Uh, 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 Sarah, no, no. Second Ezra 16 and 7. Second Ezra 16 7. Keep going. Yep. Uh, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Go ye out into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So the Heavenly Father just, uh, established the form in which he wants his word to come out. Right? Not Twitter, not Instagram. Right, now Facebook. Facebook. These are the forums. And really, really not YouTube either. We use YouTube as a medium, but really not YouTube either. The, the, the real, the real uh, forum is to be out on the highways and byways teaching the school. Right? Wisdom, wisdom cries without she utter her voice in the streets. This is this is where the where the, where the work is done. When you when you when you read in Acts, when you read about the apostles, they was they they was putting foot to ground, man. They was on the ground. They was on, um, um, you know, going out to different churches, teaching about the Lord Yahweh Shai. Among the people. Say it again. Be among the people. Right. Right. Be among yeah. the people, right? And, and, we're, and really, when you get right here, we're in downtown Boston, right? You know, the, the world famous down, down Boston is the next block over, right? And you get all walks of life coming through here, right? All, all you got, you got, you got. The, the, the niggerous of the niggas, you got the all type of shit. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah, all, all type of shit. All type of shit. The colleges. Right, you got the, yeah. the, the, right this like this uh, Suffolk University here, right here, we're right across the street from, which is one of the um, more pre prestigious universities in the United States, right? So we're, we're right here in the thick of things. 
So this is where you see the people, and this is where the people see you. Now it's, it's wearing down, right? Because we used to get people come up all the time, and now not so much. We get more time to see get somebody to, to jar back and forth with, right? But now it's just, you know, it's sort of picking, right? But that's just the proof that the Heavenly Father is, is, is really establishing his teaching on the earth. Right? You know? So, you know, no fault of your own, Kyrie. We were joking around a little bit today, right? But no fault of your own. You, 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 you had the right intentions, but it's not for everybody. The Lord puts the Spirit on certain men to do this thing. Because, I'll be honest with you, man, when I, was, when I first came into this thing, I was scared. I was afraid. When I was a young man in the truth, because I was a young man in life, I was I was uh, afraid and I was scared to do this. And I was trying to find different excuses. But, oh, I need to go back to the car. Go we'll get my, my little car man and come back. That brother was already you know speaking and teaching. You know, so it's it's not easy. It's not, I'm not I'm not saying by any means that it's easy. I'm just saying it's not for everybody. Uh, second Ezra chapter six verse twenty seven. Yep. For evil shall be put out, yeah, and the sea shall be quenched. Yep. As for faith, it shall flourish. As for faith, it shall flourish. It shall flourish. Right. Corruption shall overcome, yep. and the truth, we shall be so long without proof, shall be declared. Mm. What are you doing? Uh, trying to look for the truth. <laughs> looking for what? The truth. Looking for Pikachu. Nah, looking for the they, truth. They looking for the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't find it over there. Second Acts chapter six verse twenty-seven: For evil shall be put out. And the sea shall be quenched. Yeah. As for faith, as for faith, it shall flourish. Yeah. Corruption shall overcome. Yeah. Yeah. And the truth, we shall be so long without fruit, yeah. shall be declared. Right. right. The truth, which shall have, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Yeah. That's what's happening right now. The truth is being declared. We are declaring that we are the children of Israel. Man. That's right. That's what our de declaration is. That we are the descendants of the people that walked across the Red Sea. The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And we're here to usher in the kingdom of the Lord Yahweh Shai. With no apologies. With no apologies. With no, apologies. No, apologies. no apologies. No, we're not. I'm not going to tell you that I'm sorry because I, I, we, let's have a conversation about sorry, it. Sorry, not sorry. Let's have a conversation about it. Let's talk about why I'm, I am, my, my nation is the, the, the Shemite of Shemites. You know? Got yeah, from the comment board, uh, Matthew 24 and 14, if it hasn't been brought out. Right. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Yeah, then shall the end come, man. And that's what we're doing right now. We're out here, we're teaching it to the masses, we're teaching it to the whole world, right? Because all, all it is is a matter of context and conversation. That's how you figure out uh, what, what a, a Shemite is. Just talk, just talk. All them times that those cameras were in your face, you should have you should have used it as a, a platform just to, to tell the truth, man. Listen, man, we're Israelites, man, and I and I know that's hard a hard pill to swallow, but through, through the history that I've been learning, through the scriptures I've been reading, I found out that my people are the children of Israel. That's right. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that. This I have a I have a big platform, right? I am Kyrie Irving. I got Nikes. I got, I got everything. Six million followers. Six million whatever, followers. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the things that are important to me. That's it. You don't, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta be mean. You don't gotta be mad. You don't gotta be emotional. Just tell the truth, man. Just tell the truth. I have another comment from the comment board. First Peter four and five. Yep. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Yep. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live accordingly to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand, but yea, therefore um, sober and watch unto prayer. Be therefore sober. Khan, Salakia. You gotta mingle this thing with prayer. You can't, you can't do it on your own. You were trying to be out there on your own. You were trying to be out there by yourself. You were trying to be out there on a limb. Oh, man, it takes it takes the, the inspiration of the Heavenly Father for one, and then the backing of the brotherhood. Man. If you if you knew that you had men behind you, you would have been a little bit more uh, 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 fortified in your approach. Let me get that one more. Yeah, that's
Second, oh, my favorite, bro. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 7. For this should be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They should be like madmen, spirit of none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right, so let us let us take it from here. We, we knew this. You thought you was, you know, you thought you were unique. We, we humbled ourselves and said to ourselves, this is about the Alabama Shimmy Alisha. We're just a mere vessel. But you tried to be you tried to be the one you have a shot. Talking about your name and what you mean. You ain't the right nigga. They're showing you that you ain't God. And he has to meet with a rabbi, you 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 a, a high rabbi. Six lists. If that's what I gotta do to be a millionaire, then fuck it, man. Just give me twenty dollars and, and, and a, uh, a bag of bread. I saw. I don't want no fucking. Don't give me no million dollars, man. If that's what I gotta do, go ahead, bro. You got something? Yeah, it's pretty much. It's yeah, man. Fucking. I'm cursing, but you know. What you need a million dollars for? You gotta go through that. Stand on your own. Can't even talk. Be your own boss. Right, right, right. Your own boss. Hey, so this this is all this a link on what he gotta do in order to be reinstated. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hip, 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 hip. He says he gotta apologize and condemn the film he promoted. Why you gotta condemn it? Oh, I don't come. You didn't make it. <laughs> that's why I, I don't get that. Why you gotta condemn it? And what if I don't mean it? What about the truth? What if I don't? What if I don't think it needs to be condemned? And, it, and my thing is this. My thing is this. Right. This 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 nigga is a basketball player. And they haven't asked him now one basketball question all year. <laughs> like, how do you, how do you, what do you do when you're, when you're at home working out? Do you, do you lift weights with the basketball in your hand? Do you, what, how do you get your handle tight? You know, ask him a question like that. What do you think about you guys' performance tonight? They asked him about a goddamn documentary. The nigga's not a fucking film producer. He's a basketball player. Ask him how, how, he, how he does that reverse finger roll. That's what I've been trying to figure out. Hey, you're not watching it. <laughs> That's what I want to know. How he do that? that you, know, when, how he, you know how he hit yeah. that one, that one, that one, like that? Yeah. Hit on the other side, I can never do this. How you do that? Ask him that. That's what I want to know. I don't care about no fucking documentary. Because the, the documentary, them, them people that made that documentary, they going off too. They going off too. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. It's a, a bestseller still, man. Bestseller. On, on Amazon. It's a lot. It's a yeah, 4.5. Yeah. You know what, you know what Jeff Bezos? You in trouble too. You got this whole This list of here, man. You got to read. Go ahead, bro. Tell Jeff Bezos what you got to read. Say that on his platform. Got to make a $500,000 donation to Inside Hate Cross. What is it? Uh, $500,000 no. $500, donation to anti-hate causes, complete sensitivity training. You gotta have sensitivity. What is sensitivity training? What is that? Is that anger management? Is it? Sound like MK Ultra. Listen, man, give me $20 for that Like, if you, this, this thing is that play basketball, kill me. But you're gonna play basketball anyway. You, you, you mad that they're taking money from you? Look, man, give me give me fifty thousand dollars, and I'll play I'll play basketball all goddamn day. Fifty thousand dollars, and just pay my mortgage. Let me give me enough money, you know, you know, give me a hundred thousand. Let me pay my mortgage, right? And I'll play basketball for you all day. I'm, then I'm just still a regular dude. They giving these people fifty million, thirty-seven million, eighteen million to play a game that they gonna play anyway. Y'all niggas is afraid to lose a couple of dollars. You gonna play basketball anyway? Say, look, y'all gotta pay me right now. Don't pay me. I'm just walking. You know? Come on. You play basketball? Baseball. Baseball? Yeah, baseball. Say baseball. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. It says complete anti Semitism training and then meet with the ADL and Jewish uh, small hat leaders. Meet with the team owner. They don't say small heavy leader, do it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, nah, sorry. Yeah, put that on there, bro. Put that on there. So, uh, meet with team owner Joe Joe's side to demonstrate an understanding of the situation. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing none of that shit. The, 80, the ADL is the Anti-Defamation League. Defamation League. Defamation League. Yeah. <laughs> 
doing this. All right, that's it, man. That's yeah, it. So, with all that being said, you know, we all we, we, uh, give all praises to. Yeah, I hope. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Honor and salutations to those of you who are the hopeful elect out there on the highways and byways teaching the word in sincerity and in truth and, and in faith. For that we're going to say a Bob the Ball. 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 A B